Kia ora guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel and another vlog. Finally, working on Lando. Um, super exciting, we've got some new wheels. Um, they're my dream wheels, I've been wanting them for literally forever. Um, and uh, yeah, good set popped up on uh, Trade Me for a price I couldn't say no to. So I've picked them up, we'll show them to you shortly. But uh, first things first, we'll pull the uh, pull Lando out into the yard a bit better. Um, it hasn't been driven since New Year's pretty much. It's been parked up, um, combination of a few things broken and fuel price. Um, it's just been sitting there. So, uh, fingers crossed it actually starts. Let's go have a look. most convincing startup but hey two, two and a half months of uh, sitting I'm just pleased it started anyway what we all want to know is uh, what wheels and tires have we got you probably know by the thumbnail but a uh, bit of backstory to these wheels I've wanted these wheels since I'm probably like eight years old um, I used to literally drool over these in the old Land Rover magazines this one in particular is uh, the one that sold these wheels to me um, this build in particular this is a uh, Ute Chop Disco, and I don't know how many hours I looked at this as a kid, but uh, this is it, and um, those are the wheels. There's some uh, old Mac 5s, and uh, yeah, I was just happening to scroll through Trade Me, and um, yeah, I saw some Mac 5s. Couldn't believe it. I was like, no way. Like, they just don't exist in New Zealand. You can, can't really get them. Not in New Zealand anyway, and especially not beadlocked. So, to see them there, I was, I couldn't believe it. Anyway, of course I made the guy an offer. The guy said yes. The, off, the price is too good. Like, I just couldn't say no. And, uh, well, here we have the new Mac 5s. They look absolutely awesome. Um, many times cooler than the old uh, 8 spokes that we've got on Lando currently. Um, so, the story is, they came with this. Um, these 35 inch Maxxis creepy crawlers basically brand new so uh, if you're in the market for some creepy crawlers these are for sale we will slap them on the truck today but uh, obviously I only recently got trips and for what we do trips are a better tire I mean creepies are a great tire for what they're built for but the conditions we drive trips all day so um, we will be putting the trips on these rims but these rims I'm gonna get uh, reconditioned first new powder coat change the colors and uh, make them something special well something even more special but um yeah, that's uh, that's basically the, the deal. We've got a set of five, which is a big one as well, so I'll now have a spare. So um, I reckon that's pretty much enough talking about them. Uh, let's chuck them on the truck. One thing to note is uh, the bloke that I bought them off, he's a very helpful dude, um, but unfortunately he didn't know what offset they were. So I had a look at the photos. There was only two photos, but I uh, took a wee bit of gamble. I was like, eh, they look all right. Um, so we'll slap them on, fingers crossed the offset's right, otherwise uh, all this is going to be a big waste of time and money. But um, yeah, fingers crossed they're all good. Alright guys, that looks good. Wheels are on and the good news is, the offset is pretty much perfect, slightly more sunk in. Um, yeah, I'd say probably 5 or 10 mil less offset, um, so not ideal, like I do really like the fact that the traps on the current bead locks do stick slightly past the flares, um, that way when you're leaning in banks and that you're leaning on the tyre side wall, not the uh, um, well, panels and flares, however, I mean, they're so close, it'll be just fine. Um, the creepies look slightly smaller, which is actually interesting, so I think we might grab uh, one of the other creepies, one of the uh, traps, and uh, stand them up next to each other. I do know that the traps of the 15-inch rim are a taller tire than the traps of the 16-inch rim, so that's something to bear in mind if you're looking to buy traps, but uh, yeah, we'll stand them up next to each other, have a look, and then probably slap the back ones on so we can get a better overall picture of uh, how the truck looks with the uh, new creepies, and uh, yeah, stand and admire it for a little bit.
not super scientific of course being on gravel however the traps are definitely like a good what close to an inch taller probably so uh something interesting anyway as i said if you want to buy a set of uh creepy crawlers hit me up let me know on instagram and uh same to be said actually for my uh, bead locks so obviously i don't have the need for these uh, steelies anymore shortly so um if you're wanting a good priced set of uh, land rover bead locks negative 35 approximately hit me up um they are for sale I will be hanging on to them just for a wee bit longer while we get the rims reconditioned, but they will be on the market soon. Guys, the fitment. That fitment's come up real good. Um, just, just past the flare. So uh, that is what we like to see. Um, probably could do with like 5 or 10 mil more as I was saying before, but... For a set of wheels with unknown offset purchased off the, um, the internet, sight unseen, not a bad deal, not a bad deal. It's so good to be back in this thing guys, it's been like two, two and a half months since I've driven it. Man I've missed it eh, so missed it. Alright guys, well obviously we've just popped down to this uh, local wee spot, I've uh, popped down to a few times before to take some photos. Truck looks awesome on the new Mac 5s, obviously it's looking uh, quite retro, quite 90s or early 2000s with the silver Mac 5s. Uh, however, you can bet that's all going to change very soon, so uh, they're going to look like whole new rims when you next see them. So I'm very excited for that. Anyway, we uh, shoot back to, uh, back to the house and a um, couple more things we want to touch on, basically. As you guys know, this truck's not been on the channel for a couple of months now, so we're going to touch on why that is, what's happening, and uh, yeah, but we'll discuss that once we're back. We have just popped back home, um, and we're going to crack into removing the bead locks, uh, well, removing the tyres off the bead locks, so um, for you channel regulars, you'll know all about bead locks, however, for those of you who don't, um, essentially, there's the bead of the tyre, which is where the edge of the tyre is, and then um, a normal rim relies on the air pressure pushing up against the uh, rim to hold it on. Um, a bead lock, however, um, essentially has got this ring which is separate to the rest of the rim, um, clamping down on it with all these bolts. So that bead is clamped, allowing you to uh, basically run a whole lot lower tyre pressures without the uh, tyre wanting to come off the rim. So that's a short explanation. Anyway, we're going to get undoing these bolts. It's going to be a horrible job but it's not going to get done itself, so we'll crack into it. Alrighty guys, well, as you can see, we've got the beadlock rings off and the tyres are ready to be taken away to uh, have the rims taken out. Um, so we're going to look at a couple different options because they have uh, a nut on the back of them. Um, it's a lot nicer if the uh, nut is captive. Um, we can't cut threads into it because they're already over drilled, but I'll look at... Um, I know dynamic wheels have um, like some nut certs that go in. Not like... Well, they're kind of like riv nuts, but slightly different. So I'll look at that, see if that's an option, otherwise we'll just have to run, you know, standard nuts, but that'll be all good. Anyway, I promised you I would touch base on where Lando has been. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> number one, the price of fuel is just absolutely ridiculous right now. Like, I don't know how we're ever going to afford to go forward driving, but don't worry, we'll make it work. Um, but yeah, prices in New Zealand, for those of you who are overseas, is like, where we're based, it's like $3, $3.50 per litre for petrol, which is just unbelievable. Um, it makes you know popping down the river for an afternoon a you know hundred hundred and fifty dollar trip sort of thing so um, that's partially it um, it's also got a little bit of work needing doing after the uh, we did about 2,000 K's over um, New Year's when we did the double uploads all of January 2,000 K's in a truck that's uh, kind of set up for the hard stuff is uh, 
I mean, it did it well, but um, we did come back with a little bit of damage from uh, the coast and the high country. Um, so we've got a pinion seal that's let go in the back. It's tipping its oil out, which is obviously no good. Um, the alternator is sounding terrible. The bearing's been on its way for a while. Heater, oh no, sorry, not heater hose. One of the coolant lines has split. That happened down uh, while we're camping in Twizel. Um, it's currently got silicon tape around it holding it together. And I mean, it got us home, but uh, definitely needs replacing. We've uh, also got one of the uh, idler pulleys is literally about to fall off. Um, the bearing is so far let go, so again, that's on me. Um, so I need to get that sorted. Um, panard rod, uh, that let go up in the uh, high country. Um, you might remember what seeing in the video, just watching the panard just slogging around. Um, that still has not been fixed, although we've got the replacement for that. And there's just a few other things, like it's still not even finished being unpacked from the uh, high country, oh sorry, from the uh, final uh, trip down in Twizel, so. Poor old truck's just been parked, it will be back, I promise you. Um, having these new wheels is definitely going to uh, speed up the process, because I'm a lot more stoked on that, but right now, obviously the focus is on Hundy, which are trying to make progress on that. Um, so yeah, we are going to be doing a Q&A regarding Hundy in the next video, so if you have any questions about Hundy, um, be sure to let, leave them down in the comments below. Um, and uh, yeah, in the next build video on Hundy, we will be uh, answering them all for you. So let us know down below what you think of uh, Hundy, what you want to know. And also let me know what you think of the new wheels, because I'm super excited. Um, as I say, dream wheels. I've wanted them for, what, 10, 15 years, so super stoked to get them. But yeah, hopefully you guys like them too. Let me know what colour you reckon I should paint these. I've already got my mind like 90% set. But uh, if enough people uh, throw a different colour option out there, I, uh, I could be swayed. Anyway, give us a like if you enjoyed today's video. Thank you all very much for watching. Hit subscribe if you haven't already to stay tuned for everything else we've got coming. We'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers for watching. We'll see you then.